Setup is one of the best places to find applications that help you be more productive. Let's take a look. They have over 250 applications on Setup, and it's really neat that you can install them once you subscribe and play around with them. I'm going to be showing you one of the cool applications in Setup called Spark Mail. Spark Mail can be found by searching in Setup. You can just search for Spark, and Spark Mail comes up. You can also go over here to the collections and it's under the AI toolkit collection. You can scroll over for the AI toolkit because SparkMail has some AI cool features in it and you can get SparkMail right there. And then you can also go over to the sidebar within Setup and go to all apps and under work, you can find SparkMail by scrolling down and it's right here. So there are multiple ways to find SparkMail within your setup application. And once you have found it, whether it's through the search bar or another method, you can type in search um, for SparkMail and then you can go and press the blue install button just like that. And then it starts to install the SparkMail application onto your computer. So you can see the progress bar is says installing and now we are ready to open it. Now we've got it open for the very first time. Smart focused email. Now to get started, all you have to do is just type in your email address or continue with Google if you do have a Google email address. We do have a Google email address, so I'm going to go ahead and press this blue continue with Google button just like that. We'll press it one time. We'll log into my Google email and we'll authenticate and we'll want to select all in order for Spark to access our email and compose in our calendar. And then we'll press this continue button at the very bottom. We press that one time and then we will hit the allow button that allows SparkMail to authenticate and verify our application and our account together. And here we have it. SparkMail helps you by sorting your emails. It puts the people that you want to talk to the most, your priority senders at the very top, and then all of the notifications and newsletters at the very bottom. You're presented with this welcome screen, it greets you, good afternoon, good morning. And then you can go ahead and press this blue check inbox button in the middle here in order to get started. So we just press this once and it takes us to our inbox. So when we're done with an email, all we have to do is just press the check mark on the left right here and it will archive it for us. You can also press E. So if we wanna get rid of this growth in reverse email and we are finished with it, we just press the check mark and it goes away just like that. Super cool. Now we can also, we can use this toggle at the very top to show all of the emails that we've already archived that we're done with. So we just finished this one, we archived it and it shows all of the ones that we're done with right there at the, at the top. You can search for email in the top right. So we can come over here and search for something. Um, and it finds any emails that we have based off that topic. And then we can compose an email by pressing the compose button in the top right. We can go ahead and use Spark AI. I love this feature. We can enable Spark AI and um, we can have it help us with our email writing. So we can say um, subject, uh, we can create a title, new app, um, and then we can say I have an idea for a new app. Can you help me with the wireframes? And then I can come over here and select and use the Spark AI to proofread, to rephrase with the prompt, or to expand and shorten. So say I want to make this more detailed, I can go ahead and press the expand button and it generates using Spark AI just like that. Um, it's gone ahead and rewritten this entire email for me. I've conceived an innovative concept for a cutting edge mobile application that has the potential to address specific needs or enhance user experiences in remarkable ways. So I love Spark AI and it allows you to rephrase your content using artificial intelligence. We can also dive deeper. We can click on our newsletters. We can see all of our newsletters that are in here. Um, you can go ahead and click on one and just start reading it just like that. You have all of your menu options in the top right here. Say we want to be reminded, we can go ahead and snooze this. We can press the little clock icon here and it pops up an alert and allows us to be snoozed, allows this email to be snoozed for a later date. So we can say later this evening and that way it will remind us and reappear. Um, so really cool that you can go back to our home screen, open our inbox and see we've got our newsletter separated from our notifications and then from our emails that have come in here. 
You can pin different emails. Say we go to our newsletters and uh, we want to right click on it, we can pin an email and that way when we click on our pins, we always can access that email very quickly. And this has just been a quick overview of how to use Spark Mail. That's a cool application baked right into Setapp where you can access over 250 applications that help you be more productive. This has been a Spark Mail tutorial for the Mac. We've learned how to send an email on the Mac, organize email on the Mac, and use the best email productivity app for the Mac, Spark Mail, with all of its incredible features and how to download it on Setapp. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and comment what application you'd like to see next. Click on the video recommendations for more apps and how-to guides and we'll see you in the next video.